Hi, I'm Casey with White House Custom Color, and today we're going to be going over how to create wall displays using Studio iPad. To do that, we're going to start by creating a project on Studio Online. So let's move over to the computer real quick so I can show you how to do that. Studio starts with creating a project, so we'll go to the My Projects page, and then click on New Project. And from here, we'll go ahead and add our images. While those are uploading, I'll go ahead and name the project. And once those are done uploading, they automatically sync with the iPad as long as the iPad is connected to Wi-Fi. So let's move over to the iPad now and create a wall display. On the iPad, we'll click on the project and we'll import a new wall. From here, we'll tap on the paintbrush icon in the upper right and then add a new scene from the photo library. Once that's imported, we're going to want to calibrate that wall. That way, the images that we put on the iPad are going to be the real life size. To do that, we need to calibrate that using this ruler tool on screen. In this instance, the pillow is 20 inches wide. So I'll set the ruler guide to 20 inches and then drag my edges to the, each edge of the pillow. Now that the wall is calibrated, we'll go ahead and start dragging the images on, on screen. To do that, we'll tap on the photo and then move the image on screen and place it. Now you'll see that this is kind of a smaller image here, and to make that bigger, you can do that one of two ways. You can do that by dragging these little blue dots on the corners and sizing the images up to the next standard size, or by tapping on the size down below on screen and sizing it that way. Let's add a couple of frames to this now. I'll click and drag an image on screen. I'm going to change the size down to a 12 by 12. And then from here, we'll use the Ashland Aged Umber frame. We'll go ahead and add another frame on screen here. And you can see when I drag these on that it does create uh, kind of these snap guides that show up there. And this is really good for making sure that you have an accurate display of the images and that they are spaced evenly apart. For here, we'll change that over to a 16 by 20. And we'll get a little fancy with it as well and add a mat to it. Scrolling over to the mats, we'll add an 11 by 14 mat, change that to a double white, and then just reposition this a little bit. Now, once you're done designing this, you can actually order this directly from the iPad app itself. Up in the upper right corner, I can tap on the order button, and that's going to give me this, uh, this summary where I'm going to be able to see what it was I put on the wall. And this is good for if you wanted to actually send this directly to your client, that way they can preview that and approve it, or it's good for you in case you wanted to take these images and order them through rows instead. If I click checkout, that moves on to where I can confirm the shipping details and then actually place the order through the app itself. Now, once you've played around with Studio for iPad a little bit more, you're really able to create really complex designs and these incredible gallery walls that you'll be able to show to your client. You can download Studio for iPad from our app store, and if you have any questions, I can show you real quick how to get to our FAQ page on the main website. To do that, you can just click on Resources, go to the FAQs, and then from the menu option off to the right, we'll go down to Studio for iPad, where there's tons of resources for how to create a wall display. Thanks for sitting down with me to go over how to create wall displays on Studio iPad. If you have any questions, feel free to reference that FAQ page or give our customer service team a shout.